All right, what up, y'all? What's the deal? What's the deal? I'm gonna jump straight into it. Y'all read the title. This is what I would do this summer if I was the Pistons because they obviously they don't know what the fuck they doing. So <clears throat> you got your boy. I'm about to jump in the GM chair for a minute. Look out for the whole city. I'm gonna look out for the city, all right? So I got my paper right here. Just know, just bear with me. So you got six players, contracts expired this year. Six players. You got Brandon Knight, John Henson, Langston Galloway, Thon Maker, Christian Wood, and Jordan McCray. Now, out of those six players, I will re-sign two of them. Nah, it's not going to be who y'all think. Y'all take a guess right now. Take a guess. Listen to this video. Nah, yes. I know y'all guess Christian Wood. I would definitely re-sign Christian Wood. Shout out to Wood. I know he going through the situation, man. To be honest, I'm sick as fuck right now, too. I don't know. I hope. But anyway, I would re-sign Christian Wood. But the thing about Wood, it was a point in time from like mid-November until like the beginning of January. Wood wasn't playing too good. Like y'all should hit me up with some stats because I go to a lot of the Pistons games and from what I saw, he wasn't playing real good from that point in time. It was showing and I was telling my dad, like, is this who the real Wood, is this what he really is? But the way he played at the end of the season, I don't want him to be going somewhere else and then fuck around and turn into a damn superstar. So we gonna keep his ass right the fuck here, okay? And he gonna stay here. The second player I would re-sign, y'all gonna be shocked. No, it's not Galloway, not Thine Maker. I would sign to a one-year contract, I would sign Jordan McCray. Now just just hold on. Just stay with me. I would sign Jordan McCray because from what I saw at the last few games that we had. He was fucking aggressive as hell, man. What the hell? He was he was taking the ball to the basket. He he wasn't scared. Now defensively, I didn't see too much. I wasn't paying attention to him defensively. But offense, we need we need people to be aggressive like he was. So um and also too, Swee got a team option for 1.6 mil. I would definitely pick that up. Tony Snell got a uh, player option for 12 million. Now, if I was the GM, I would sit there and tell Tony, like, listen, man, whatever it takes, just get the fuck out of our damn organization. We do not want to pay you that 12 million. So can you please just, just leave, like, please. But if he want to, you know, come back and sign for that 12 million, whatever. All right, free agents that I would go after. Now, there's one person that I would definitely, definitely try to get. Who y'all think it is? I would definitely try to get Freddie. Yes, Fred Van Vliet. Bring him to Detroit, man. Get Van Vliet to Detroit. It's only right. You know, we got Dwayne Casey here. He could play with his old coach. We need a point guard. If you have Van Vliet, as your starting point guard, and D Rose come off the bench, kind of that 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 might be better than Lowry and Van Vliet, uh, Van Vliet and Rose. That might be better than Lowry and Van Vliet. So I would definitely go after Van Vliet. I would see how much he asking for it too, though, because Van Vliet don't don't try to go for no super big numbers like you just just out here. I know you 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 that dude and everything, but don't be asking for nothing too crazy now, like. Yeah, don't 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 do that. And a couple people that maybe I would go after. These is maybes. And that's Serge Ibaka, Mark Gasol, Malik Beasley, and Dario Saric. Um, like I said, we got a lot of people leaving. And also too, Wood, he's not a banger inside. He he he, he bangs, but he's not a banger. We need somebody, another big man. So I would love to have either Serge or even Mark. Mark, both of them can shoot outside, and Sarge can shoot outside too. And all three of them, they got girth. You know, they you ain't just moving none of them three around. You ain't just moving them around. Um, Out of the three, which one would I rather have? Uh, 
I would love to take two. I would love to take Gasol and Serge, to be honest. Just take, you know, Toronto. Just take their shit from them and bring it to Detroit. Bring their whole little style. Just bring it over here, you know. And, oh, we still do got Blake, don't we? Blake probably be better. I don't know if I would move Blake to, like, the three or something. And Wood at the four. They, they got a lot to figure out, y'all. They got a lot to figure out over the summer, man. Cause you know we we when we got Blake that that kind of fucked us up, man. And it left us in a hole. Good thing we did get rid of Drummond, but that did help. <clears throat> uh, the draft, the draft is gonna be big for us this year and the future. Okay, two people that I want. No, it's not Lamelo Ball. I know y'all keep saying that. I really don't want Melo. I would love to have either RJ Hampton or Anthony Edwards. I think they would be perfect. <coughs> <coughs> Shit. Either RJ Hampton or Anthony Edwards. I think they would be perfect for our team. And like I said, if we don't pick up um, Freddie, then we put RJ Hampton at the point and you know, D Rose kind of show him the way D Rose come off the bench, show him everything. Or Anthony Edwards. Now the thing with Anthony Edwards is we would put him at the two, and I'm kind of hot and cold when it comes to Luke Kennard because I know he got a lot of fucking fans, and I, I'm honestly, to be honest with y'all, I'm kind of scared of his fan base. Like his fan base is not to be fucked with, y'all. I'm gonna be so serious. Like <laughs> Luke Kennard got a big ass fan. If you're not from Detroit, you wouldn't know. But Luke Kennard got a big ass fan base. Okay, so not saying I'm not a huge fan. I think Luke can shoot and everything, but I would rather have Sweet. Sweet got size on him. You know, he was six eight. I think that'd be the perfect two guard. I'd rather have Sweet than Luke, to be honest. I wish we should have did that uh deal with Phoenix. I kinda wish we should have did that. Um That's all I would do over this summer. Um, we got a lot. We got a lot of rebuilding, y'all. We got a lot of rebuilding. This shit, it probably won't get up and running to probably two, three years from now. To be quite honest with y'all, we won't be back in action to about two, three years because we so behind. We made so many different mistakes. We kept drumming for so long. That Blake deal that 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 fucked us up. Um, we ended up getting rid of Tobias and he balling like everywhere. Um, yeah, man, you know that. And it, it, it's tough too because, you know, we don't have fucking GMs. Like we don't have an, a, a GM that's assigned as a GM. Malik Rose and Ed Stefanski, I don't, I forgot their titles, but they're not GMs, you know, they don't have that title. We need a legitimate GM, you feel me? And also, Casey should know that this is his job for the future on some um, Brad Stevens type shit, how Brad Stevens is with the Celtics, how he was with the Celtics. That's how Casey should be here. That The way the Celtics did it about five, to 10 years ago, the way they did it is how I would love for the Pistons to uh, do their rebuild. <laughs> but um, we don't have a GM. Until we get a GM, I don't really see it you know, happening. That's That's gotta be the first thing. Get a legit GM, assign somebody as GM, and um, <clears throat> keep it moving from there. Yeah, appreciate y'all.